welcome to this Solid Edge podcast, bringing you quick and easy tips and tricks from the experts. Solid Edge provides many tools for building and managing your assemblies. You can design new parts in the context of your assembly or add new pre existing parts. Here are a few tips to save you some time and mouse clicks when adding existing models. Let's start by adding some blade screens to this electric shaver. I have one already and need two more. I'll edit the sub-assembly and turn off the other components for convenience. To place another instance of a part already being used, you don't have to use the parts library. You can simply drag them straight from the pathfinder and then use the assembly constraints to position them accurately. Another way to achieve this is to use common window shortcut keys. With the required part selected, type Ctrl C to copy it to the clipboard and Ctrl V to paste it into your design. Notice that the part appears where your cursor is positioned. Let's now look at how you can place parts in arbitrary positions. This is great for adding many components quickly and then using the assemble command to position them accurately. Using this blank assembly document I'll drag the required parts from the parts library holding down the shift key to place them in the assembly with no constraints at the current cursor location. This is also a good way of adding non-graphical parts such as glue or paint. Last but not least here's a great technique for rebuilding divided parts. I'll place this front cover, but this time holding down the control key while dragging it into the assembly. This instructs Solid Edge to place it grounded and aligned to the assembly origin. If you want to learn more, visit us at solidedge.com or call your local Solid Edge channel partner.